Today, we are traveling across the USA to Nashville, Tennessee for my first toy convention ever. Last episode, we got ready for it, made our list. Today, we find out what's in store and we have a big surprise. Over there is Ashley Eckstein. So let's go. All right, we just landed in Nashville, Tennessee for day one of the ICCC toy convention. So we're gonna go inside and see what is up. I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know how many people are inside right now. I hear that Ashley Eckstein is in the building. So let's go and check out and see what's inside. The ICCC is a three-day convention that celebrates collecting, pop culture, and fandom from all galaxies. But the mainstay here is Star Wars. Today is day one, and this first day is reserved for VIP badge holders only. That means no big crowds when looking at the items offered for sale. So if you've been talking to any vendors that were gonna be there and you know exactly what they have, it's your chance to jump on it before attendees with general admission passes get to it. And to get to preview the entire convention with virtually no lines and room to move around freely. But the best part was no lines to meet the celebrities that were gonna be there. And this year's lineup was the main cast from the Clone Wars, Anthony Daniels and Ian McDermott, yes, the Emperor himself. But as you all know, we love Ahsoka Tano and we're looking to see if we can get an autograph and talk to Ashley Eckstein. And there was no line on VIP day. So if you're looking to come here next year and don't want to wait in line for two to four hours for these autographs, VIP is the way to go. All right, so over there is Ashley Eckstein, the star and the voice of the Clone Wars series who plays Ahsoka Tano. Uh, is this the first time we're meeting? No, no, um, we met a long time I ago, but so yeah, yeah. And so we not only got to meet Ashley, but we were able to talk to her for a good five minutes. And that's why her line takes so long. She talks to get to know her fans and really wants to hear their stories. Mainly I asked her what it was like getting to create and develop the character of Ahsoka with director Dave Filoni. She obviously gave George Lucas and Dave credit for making such an amazing character and world, but she also said it was the most blessed and fortunate experience that she, as an actor, could have experienced. I feel very fortunate. I got cast to basically be myself, so um, to be able to originate a character in Star Wars and to be told just be yourself is surreal. It's, I think. It's been honestly one of the greatest honors of my entire life. She was super cool and super generous of her time and we were able to get two things autographed. One was a print art from Star Wars Rebels and the other is our carded TVC 202. I was super stoked. So on day three, before we leave, I have to get the autograph verified and then we can send it to get graded. But since we arrived in Nashville so late, the sales floor was only open for an hour. And of course, we spent most of the time talking not only to Ashley, but her family and the other cast members of the Clone Wars. So by the time I was able to walk the show floor, they were closing up, but not before I got to meet some friends who I've been buying from and getting to know online in the collector groups. And also there's Rogue Five Toys. And I've probably bought half my collection from these guys. And to be able to hang out and meet them in person was a truly rad experience. And we got to meet Matthew Neef, who is an awesome musician and part of the hit band Hitchville. He's also the person who gifted me a super minty Hoth soldier. And he sold me a super nice mint on card Lando in skiff guard disguise, which I sent in for a grade. You get the thing where you're walking by somebody and they're and you just you know you see him for a second and you're like Who's gonna make the first move? Yeah, like yeah, I know yeah. I bought stuff from you or whatever like it's super cool And I also got to meet a dear friend finally Nilda from appetite for collectibles And we've been talking about this moment for a very for a very very long, long time. time I had her on my show as a guest in the past and we have been friends ever since. Her and her husband Joey run a vintage toy and antique shop called Way Back When and they actually gave me an unexpected surprise. There's your prize. 
Oh, oh, check this out. Look. Got the prize. One more. It is the Paplu coin that I've been looking for. Here That's it correct. finally is. Dude. With the accessories and all. So in the first 30 minutes of me being here, we get Paplu, we get Pruneface, and we get Ashley Eckstein's autograph. I didn't know this, but after the show floor shuts down, the lobby turns into a marketplace for after hour sales. We're looking for a few mint on cards, and we found a few wickets. You can turn around and see various items for sale at different prices. So after comparing prices and trying to get the best quality, we decided to go for a wicket that was being sold for $310. We were able to get it for $285 from bargaining and making deals. And we will be looking to get this great on day three, so stay tuned for that episode. We were also gifted this Ahsoka Tano Pez dispenser and a little tiny bottle of Maker's Mark from Dan M and his lovely wife. They gave me the gifts when the cameras were off, but I want to thank both of them for the very generous and special gift. And both of these items are never leaving my Star Wars collection. Yes, even the Maker's Mark bottle will never leave. We were also gifted this very beautiful custom painted snow trooper and the artist's name is Jay. And we were also gifted an awesome Ahsoka pin from Sam. And we were also gifted this Ahsoka Holics patch, which I love. So here's the haul from day one. And let's cross off some of these new items from our list. We got the Paplu coin gifted to us from Nilda and Joey from Appetite for Collectibles. And they gifted us an amazing prune face. And I want to give a shout out to their toy and antique shop way back when. Stop by there and let them know that the Padawan sent you. We can also cross off our carded wicket and we want to get that graded so stay tuned for that because we're going to submit these to CAS who's actually at this event and we can cross off getting Ashley Eckstein's autograph and we are also going to send in the TVC 202 card to get graded as well and we can add the Ahsoka Tano Pez dispenser to our list and our collection. And please visit my links below in the description. There's a link down there for my merch store where you can get your own Padawan collector gear. And yes, there's even Rami and Jaws gear. And there's also links for collecting supplies that you may need for your journey. When you buy and click using those links, it supports the channel, so thank you for that. So thank you for joining me for day one. Join me next episode as we not only search for vintage Star Wars goodness, but we get to see celebrities that may make the Star Wars universe come to life. And we talk to some people that made the Kenner toys history. Plus we get some major surprises from Mrs. Padawan herself who gives us a pretty special gift. So stay tuned. So if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. It does support the channel. And if you wanna see more Star Wars collecting content from me, please hit that subscribe button. And also hit that notification bell so you know when episodes go live. I post videos every Sunday with bonus episodes every Wednesday. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.